All right now, Chipotle, you better sponsor your girl real quick. Because the amount of money I'm spending for my lunch and my dinner, because this is how it works. Especially on my day of rest, I don't cook, or when I cook, I meal prep. So, Chipotle is usually like at least my Friday to Saturday type of thing. Mind you, I started getting it every day. Yes, I did. Didn't care. Sponsor me, like I said, because the one that, you know, is around me is delicious. So, I'm going to keep getting it. But, the weight gain with the grain. So, I'm serious. So, I ain't got time for that. So, mind you, I did, you know, with my intake or whatever, I have been feeling a lot better with eating it less and you know drinking more water and all of that because it's like you know when your body gets too much of one thing it starts to you know feel a little sluggish so I had to stop and all that now the only thing is that I need to do is to get back walking that's what I truly need to do because I stopped because I could not breathe because of the haze and the wildfires that, you know, just wanted to hot, Canada hotbox the, out of me. How you just gonna hotbox me like that? Like, rude. But anyway. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> yes, I'm vlogging. And what about it? Welcome to the vlog. People just be flabbergasted that I have my camera out yeah and i'm in my car in peace by myself okay bye so that's what i'm doing laundry putting it away i might as well just tell you the whole odyssey that i had to do at work so i'm trying to be a good you know housekeeper apartment keeper whatever you want to call it getting some new cleaning supplies and all of that. Mind you, like I said earlier on Friday, I usually like to get, you know, either a meal or in the week do meal prep so I don't have to cook on my day of rest. I'm on my next errand, mind you. First it was the post office to drop off an order but they're not accepting debit cards. I'm, I'm sick and tired of the short circuit them. Tired, okay? So there's that. So with that, the bank that I had to go to, too far away from the post office because nothing is close to each other. That's convenient. Clearly, I'm irritated about it. But anyway, post office can't get the thing sent out until Monday. Okay? So, that's a bummer to me because I like to be prompt with my orders. Like, within 48 hours, it's gone. But I refuse to do it on my day of rest. I'm not doing it. So, um, there was that. Then I noticed on the way to my second errand. I ain't got my food in my car. So I was just like, I already committed going to the other side of town. Don't even care. Because it's, it's gas. It's like 360 where I'm at now. Mind you, it's not terrible like other states. But for my <laughs> SUV, yeah. So. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Just gonna commit. Go run that errand. Go back and get my food. So, did that. Came home. Started cleaning. I really do not know. And I'm stalling because I got hangers. One moment. Okay, now mind you. What was I saying? Getting my food and coming back and cleaning. I was just like, why am I exhausted? I always have to like, I feel like I question myself 
a lot about that because I should not be having this low energy. But at the same time, my position is very like mathematically based. So like by the time I am done with them invoices, I am done with the account, I'm done fried. You know what I'm saying? So with the body to me personally it just leads physically like the brain physically makes me <laughs> tired at a certain point so but I need to try and find another way to um not feel overwhelmed prior to my day of rest because I don't want that time for none of that it's exhausting to just, you know, clean the apartment, put away laundry, do the other errands that I need to do. Mind you, it's, I run real errands. If you know, you know, <laughs> like grocery, get stuff for the house that's needed, um, packing orders, shipping out orders not not what people call errands today who said getting these i'm not even gonna i'm for the girls to do it go ahead i don't <laughs> so it's just to me i like i said i don't know when the stuff started getting called errands that's maintenance and self-care anyway yeah that self-care situation i don't particularly do but i hope y'all are liking the content thus far just not with this video but all the other ones if you haven't watched earlier ones after this one might as well just do a little binge watch. You know, you do it for Netflix, you do it for Hulu, you do it for Max, you do it for Disney Plus, you do it for who what what what's one of them? Tubi. Oh, child of Tubi movies. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody need to get <sighs> when I tell you it is giving the new B E T like the bud low budget BET yes that's what they get and that's what it's giving and I don't know how to feel about it mind you it's free cool mind you you know independent people that get on the platform absolutely some of their movies are fantastic but some of them is struggling <laughs> But that's all with, you know, practice of the trade and you live and you learn and, you know, you give people grace with their talent or whatever. But y'all already know what that low budget is. Y'all already know. But yeah. Why don't I have enough hangers? Mind you, I got the velvet ones, I got the plastic ones. Listen. I <laughs> I went a little ham with reverting, not reverting, um, revamping my wardrobe, both my winter and my spring summer one, and it just got to a point where I didn't want to keep buying these hangers, so I just kept my tried and true, and it is what it is don't have enough because of the break but I will be right back <sighs> more hangers later because I totally forgot I took them out of my dryer area and put it on this side of my closet and another thing too my memory like tasks and stuff like just for like for example like i said um forgetting the food why am i forgetting stuff 
<laughs> like that. It's so annoying. But given that your girl is educated, right? And don't judge me how I just released my sleeves to go out, right? But it's probably due to some trauma that I am still healing from. Now, mind you, it's when you go through the type of ordeals that I have faced <clears throat> in the recent years, the cerebellum, the cerebral cortex, the album doodlum gotta. It will be impacted. <laughs> uh, the penal gland, the, um, now I'm talking psych, uh, different parts, the amygdala, okay? It is going to be a little messed up. It just is what it is. And I need people to also understand that when it comes to that level, of stress when it comes to that level of anxiety because it wasn't even for me I don't have a kind of genetically predispositioned anxiety it has always been someone causing the effect because I don't start nothing okay don't start nothing won't be nothing right but it's like, okay, why people, you know, just all the questions that, you know, people would ask, like, why this, why that, why did you do, why did you, blah, 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 blah. And I said this either in a post somewhere or in a video, I don't remember, but it's like, you can't ask people why. You can't ask people why they stay. You can't ask people why they tolerate what they tolerate. You can't ask why they didn't cut somebody out. You can't ask why this, why that, because that's very insensitive. Because if somebody was to come at your neck like that, what you gonna say? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? You just, you're not gonna say nothing because you don't, you won't have a rational, some say a rational statement or a way of answering that question because you know when you're when you're in the thick of it when you're in the thick of whatever situation that you're in that's causing stress anxiety turmoil tribulation all of that it's not easy to see 2020 because why hindsight is 2020 now mind you never gonna be a person that will be able to correct other people I can help other people, but when it comes to their actions, they're going to have to be the people that change ultimately. And behavior changes with time. And they have to want to work at the change. That's the whole point of even psychology in general. You gonna have to do the work. I know I'm, I know I'm telling to somebody. I already know I am. So, I'm gonna just need people I'm gonna keep saying this grace give them people them grace especially if they are working on their mental health especially if they're working on things that you know are positive coping mechanisms and so on I didn't even plan to go on a rant but here we are because I'm doing laundry and I'm talking to y'all anyway how y'all week been the end of the week for me because usually how my vlogs go it's either usually like a lot within a couple days or a span within several days or just one even full one you know just one day encompassing so yeah I'm gonna fold and put away organize everything else and since I think it's supposed to be nice this weekend. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything. 
it's like it's just because I'm not myself you know it's just life isn't vibrant sometimes when you're by yourself now mind you girl love her alone time in her isolation gets a lot of work done okay but it's, you know, it gets to a point where I get so comfortable. It's just like, yeah, I'll do something next weekend. Or, yeah, I'll do something tomorrow. I'm too, I'm too young to be thinking that way. I am too young to be like, no, I'll, just, I'll be a hobby because I've been a habit for four and a half years. Okay? And I'm fighting my way back. Gotta find my way back. Baby, hey, to you. Ooh, that was that was right. Baby, I'm trying to get back to the vibe of me. Like I, I wouldn't necessarily say the club me, but definitely, you know, a little outing by myself, a little, you know, self reflection, a little, you know, because I usually just go with my mom now or something when she's visiting. But I need to, you know. So let me <laughs> with this laundry. So what you need to do is if you can't learn from your own mistakes, or sorry, you can't learn from other people's mistakes, maybe God's just gonna have to do this to you. Maybe God's gonna have to do this to you sometime. Uh, this is Proverbs 20 and 30 in the GNT. It says Proverbs 20 and 30 in the GNT. It says, sometimes it takes a painful experience to make us change our ways. Boy, thank you. I know you saw me. This Bible ain't lie, bro. I promise you. Again, it says, sometimes it takes a painful experience for us to make us change our ways. Sometimes that's what it takes, man. And, and you know this is true through... say I want to get a rug for my living room space so I'm here looking at rugs but nothing is popping out right now <laughs> so a pillow hmm. I like to change my decor every six to seven months Again, nothing's popping out right now. I don't know what color schemes I want to do. I've done a lot over the years. Changing up. Kind of want to do blue next. Because I haven't done blue in a very long time. Some bed and bath stuff. By the way, I'm at uh, Gabriel Brothers or Gabe's if you will. Probably need to invest in one of these as well. I'm just trying to stay away from people too because people are really weird around here. I shouldn't say weird, they're um, very inquisitive about what I do. <laughs> also, mattress pad save a lot mm. these sheets are really good got the Serta ones they got hella bedding apparently it's um tax free weekend so I was just like let me get out the house <laughs> love these blankets this brand here love it
rebuke for not doing that Satanist shit at all. But this is cute though. I like stuff like this. Especially for the fall months. That's nice. Give me some inspiration, that's all. This whole came around. Inspiration. Selection of Carhartt Factory Seconds and save even more. Games, find your deal. I got a whole, whole couch in this thing. Okay. Got a little lamp. And now to my favorite section the candles. I just bought two recently from this section, so. I gravitate towards the vessels too, like this one. Have no clue what it smells like, but we'll see. Ooh, for the mahogany takers. Let's give this a smell. Why can't I do this one handed? What? Hold, please. Also, I like to combine the situation. Makes sense. Another one look. River stone. It's more of a cleaner scent. I like to be punched in the face with my scents. On my body, with my candles. I like my stuff very pungent. I'm really gravitating towards oh, teak wood. Why can't I this whole please? We're just gonna set you up. This is a three wick one. Hmm. It's a real hit or miss with these type of candles because, you know, a lot of people open and stuff like that. That's not a shade. No, it's fake. Mmm. It's different. But yeah, with certain things like cold throw, Cold and hot throw. Cold throw is when you open up the thing and you smell very. Right? Hot throw is when you actually burn it. Because you can have a really weak cold throw. But if that hot throw won't hit, it's it. Hmm. Let's move over here. Because why not? Move it back a little bit more. It's getting coffee. And it's lightweight too, like it's throwing me off. It's high. It's high. Sweat one. <coughs> Hmm. 
Also, there was like some real morbidly named candles the last time I was here. Hmm. Do you see that? It already looks used. You would want a smooth surface, like let me give you an example of a smooth surface. There. That's what you want. Hmm. Now you know me with my candles. Wooden top. I love the handle. It's mad cute. Hmm. Oh, it seems like they got the same candle scent, but like in a different shade. So this is the teak wood. Hmm. Pink sunset. Hmm. None of them is popping out to me today, so I'm probably going to pass because I will be here for three hours. Hmm, love the vessel. Real nice. Okay, I'm done. Come on. I low-key want this purse. What is it? And if you know the inspiration of this tote, because I want the real tote, but the price is child. And I got that one down there. I don't think it says anything though. No, nope, it doesn't say anything. It's different material. I don't like that. I want this one. But it doesn't match my style either, so. Try to figure that out. Got okay. an obscene amount of luggage. Yeah, they had them in abundance the last time I was here. Those totes, but now not so much. Usually, I go to Marshalls for my purses or TJ Maxx TJ Maxx first then Marshalls so at this point I'm just walking around <laughs> being bored trying to entertain myself <laughs> look at this big ass boat you already know where I'm at I'm at the vibes
I had to move inside. Because it's about to rain. Even though I don't mind getting caught in the rain. Mind you, this lighting is horrible. Okay? Listen. The outside feels alive. But it's about to rain. So I'm not getting stuck in here. And I ordered another drink. So this is drink three. The last one was real weak, unfortunately. So I ordered a paper plane. So we don't see what that even tastes like. I don't know. We'll see. I'm back to work. So that's it for this video. Until next time, take care.